played in fourth grade, I started on upright. And then after fifth grade, I didn't play upright until like the end of high school because I only had an electric bass. And um, the upright wasn't available to me until like the, my senior year of high school, basically. I picked it back up and started playing in the school orchestra. And then I came to, I went to actually Mercer County Community College for a year. And that's where I really learned. I studied with Scott Hornick. Um, and then I came to TCNJ, and that's when I really started taking the upright bass series. I'd always kind of known about, you know, like the Mill Hill, and I heard about the Candlelight too, but I never had gone there until um, I started playing with Clifford Adams at the Mill Hill in Trenton. And then um, after I played with him a few times, he, uh, he, he was playing at the Candlelight one day, and his bass player, Lee Smith, who was going to be playing the gig, actually couldn't make it. So um, he offered me to fill in for him. And um, so I said, yeah, I can do it, I'll be there. It was like two hours before the gig. And I uh, showed up my first time there. I didn't know what was going on. I was like way overdressed. I don't know, everybody else was kind of Byron Landon who was playing drums on that gig. He was like, wow, it's nice to see somebody dress up so nice. <laughs> and I was like, wow, I didn't realize I was supposed to, you know, well, shouldn't have dressed up this nice time. This is the end of a beautiful friendship Cause your eyes told me so We were always like sister and brother Till that day we looked at each other of a beautiful friendship yet the beginning yet the beginning and the beginning of love After that I started playing with Cliff at the candlelight, and then I played more with Cliff, but uh, that was pretty much my big gig that I had that started me getting getting me involved at the candlelight. And uh, from then on, I've been visiting and sitting in and playing with people at the candlelight ever since that day. I mean, where I'm, uh, you know, like from Ewing and stuff, there's not very much jazz, and at least uh, Trenton, there's not really much either except for the candlelight, but at least when I found out about the candlelight and I found out how welcoming the people were there, that um, I was happy that I could have somewhere to go to watch jazz and, and play jazz. And it was really cool because I got to see like what it was like to play with you know, professional musicians who had been playing on a professional level for the past 20, 30 years now. So I really got to experience the uh, what it felt like because it, it's a lot different. You, know, you can really feel how solid their timing is and rhythm and uh, harmonies and everything that they play, how, how much they know it, you know. Uh, yeah, I mean, as long as the candlelight's around, I feel like there's always going to be a, a jazz scene in Trenton. But um, one of the things I would like to see Trenton do in the future is uh, start a jam session, uh, you know, maybe just once a week or even every other week or even once a month. Uh, just to get younger people to play jazz and let them sit in and see what it's like to play with, you know, experienced musicians. I have a lot of friends that come from Philly and uh, teach, you know, around here, and they're teaching these, you know, young high school students uh, about how to play jazz tunes. And then they ask me, since I'm from here, like, you know, where do they, uh, where can they go to sit in and play? And I'm like, I don't know. I mean, there's nowhere. Like. You know, so these people from Philly, like, they want their students that they come up here to teach to go out and experience this, this stuff, you know what I mean? And they probably, the students probably can't, like, go to Philly or New York, so, um, I just think that would be a nice thing to, to do, to help the musicians and to make them hopefully stay around the Trenton area to actually create a little bit more of a, you know, mini jazz scene.